On October 7, 2023, the apocalypse began. The testimony of the two witnesses and Revelation 19, verse 10. We have various maps here indicating us the timelines. We have the uh, chart showing us the Adam to Joseph age chart and also, of course, modern Israel and the final generation. The Holocaust, World War II. Abraham was also born in 1948 a.m. years after creation. He was called at the age of 75. And then we come to this year, 2023. Armageddon to modern Israel, abomination and destruction. Since the world animal invasion of Israel, many topics of discussion on eschatological end times discussions platforms can be reduced to a simple question. Is it or is it not end times? That is, is there another outbreak of violence typical of the Middle East or are we talking about events of biblical scripture and prophecy and the, the scale of, of those prophecies as a result of which will be Armageddon? During the 2,000 years of Christianity's existence, at least 2,000 vangs have been made on the subject of the date of the apocalypse, and almost all of them turned out to be pointing the finger at the sky. Out of millions of predictions, almost none came true. However, some long-term numerological calculations, as events unfolded and ancient prophecies were fulfilled, turned out to be the truly amazing. And we offer one of these calculations with abbreviations of irrelevant theological disputes and details to our readers. Biblical chronology reveals an important sign in Abraham's life that indicates that our journey into the last days is about to begin. Adding the years in Genesis 5 and 11 from the creation of the world to the birth of Abraham, we see that he was born 1,948 years after the creation of the world, and the timeline shows how the years add up for the 20 generations from Abraham to from Adam to Abraham's birth in 1948. And this is truly amazing because Abraham was the father of the nation of Israel, and we know that uh, to Moses God said through the burning bush, "I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob." It's truly amazing because Abraham was the father of the nation of Israel and the modern state of Israel was also born, reborn in 1948 AD. In Genesis 12.4, we read that Abraham was 75 year, years old when he left Haran and went to the land of Canaan. And now simple math, 1948 plus 75 equals 2023. I believe that with many other important signs, we are about to hear God's call to begin the important journey of the end times. The signs of 1948 and 2023 seem to fit Abraham's life perfectly and are signs of the last generation. The convergence of many surprising signs give us good reason to expect that some important events will begin in 2023 AD, this year that is. An important event in 1948 AD, it was the rebirth of modern Israel. In ancient times, Abraham was the father of the nation of Israel. So the revival of modern Israel in 1948 AD, it must surely have been God's perfect timing. According to the book of Isaiah, Israel serves as sign and symbols, Isaiah 8.18. The signs always come first, then the reality. God gave signs through ancient Israel to prepare for the first coming of Jesus, and the signs will also be important as the time of his second coming approaches. The birth of the modern nation of Israel in 1948 was the birth of signs and symbols. The signs always come first, and then the real journey begins. Likewise, the gospel comes first to the Jews and then to the uh, Gentiles. Romans 1, 16 and 2, 9 to 10. For Abram, the real journey began when he answered God's call in 2023, leaving his father's house and going to the land of Canaan. Likewise, we may be ready to embark on our final journey. James Andrews, the author of this text, 
has been blogging since time immemorial, which is a little closer than the time of Moses, but also there, and its main theme has always been the year 2023, derived from the chronology of Abraham's life. This year was uh, this year always seemed ter terribly far away, and when it started, everyone had somehow forgotten about James Andrews, and so it turns out. And if we add to this the pandemic and cure of the pandemic, which happened just the day before, then the answers to the question that torments eschatologists becomes obvious. This is this is uh, probably the end times. We're starting. We're monitoring the developments. And this is from the big one, courtesy of Corfiatico, Blogspot, and I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.